Hey everyone, it's Serotonin. Um, I'm just doing another quick sort of, uh, it's like a jot of a, of a video. Um, I discovered uh, through one of the books that I'm, I'm reading right now, something called Code Stone, which was a manufactured stone created in 1770 by a woman called Eleanor Code, who ran Code's official stone manufactory in London. Um, and, um, apparently this was a twice fired stone that was, um, I believe it was, uh, oh, what was it? And it wasn't, Cer um, ceramic, it was ceramic quality stone as opposed to concrete quality. And in this wiki uh they're basically attributing it to so many different um unexplained um pieces all over the world so the line in the unicorn in kensington palace um the old royal naval college in greenwich tons of different places and the, there's a list at the bottom but i just kind of wanted to just talk about it super super quick so this woman eleanor code and code i mean code stone seriously guys i mean the etymology around this is just beautiful um anyway so she was um they're saying that it, it was an inferior uh, sorry um the the she did not invent the artificial stone so there was inferior quality precursors that were both patented and manufactured, but she was probably responsible for perfecting the clay recipe in the firing process. So they're kind of giving this woman all of the, um, you know, the accolades. But but what I find very interesting is they're like, well, she was probably not the one who, who invented it. But we won't talk about the people who did. We'll just say that this is, that she, you know, so they, they're attributing everything to her. So she uh, was hired by George III and Prince Regent and various other people and um she you know sort of uh the recipe lasted a couple more years after her death but then it kind of petered out and apparently there is in 2000 code limited started producing statues suddenly again um after they it came to an abrupt end in 1840 suddenly in 2000 they started producing statues again with this long lost recipe that was suddenly found and this on the other it seems really really weird so it's a light gray to ye uh, light yellow or even beige and uh and it's described as having a matte finish and so here's some more so there's the lion gate here in kew gardens here is the um unicorn and of course it's you know all of the the right coding um in terms of of symbolism and uh, mimetic you know um symbolism in our uh in the statues that were made with this <clears throat> so it was superseded by portland cement a for another form of artificial stone Yard, yard, yard. Um, unable to withstand the weathering effects of sea spray and strong winds, such that in 1804 the fingers on the sculpture's left hand had been destroyed. Um, however, uh, fashionable Brighton describes similar damage as war badly, but does not attribute broken fingers, nose, mantle, and arm to an unloved statue uh, or poor quality code stone. So, very interesting. Um, and so, here we go. Going down, they've given you the formula, you know pinch of grog, uh, dash of flint, cup of quartz, um, you know, sprinkling of crushed soda lime glass and 18 pounds of ball clay from Dorset and Devon or what have you, right? Do you want yours light grog, heavy grog? It's up to you. Bake it at a temperature of 1100 degrees for over four days. We have to do it twice because it's twice fired. So don't forget that. And then down here, they very kindly given us 650 examples uh that are in still in existence worldwide so you know they've attributed the entire of the royal pavilion this whole thing is code stone right of course um what else do they have they have all kinds of things so in edinburgh they have um the statue of hygia um but this is just going to give the water of leaf yeah they're not going to actually give that one Oh, here we are, Great Yarmouth. Okay, so the Britannia Monument. Yeah, so this whole thing is, this is all code stone. So don't even bother. Don't worry about that because it's just code stone, right? Um, what else do we have here? Carlton House London, the whole thing, code stone. Yeah, whole thing, frontage, all code stone. So again, don't, don't worry, don't ask. Code stone. Yeah. That's the explanation for this one, too. It's all code stone. 
and you know and they go on you know exeter imperial war museum in london kensington high street kew gardens lyme regis oh she's got a house in lyme regis yeah that's lucky just happens to be where half the stuff is nelson's column montreal codestone right the old montreal codestone right this one breadfruit in a bowl right that's not a pineal gland that's not a pine cone no breadfruit you fool yeah there we go king alfred the great codestone lord hills column yeah more codestone twice fired i'd like to see the kiln you know or is it just the statue on the top i don't know what it is we're supposed to believe there and uh yeah you know there's lots more they have the whole the list is is big it's a big list there's a lot of stuff the statue of george the third well that's not him oh see because they're not going to show you the statue of george the third they're just gonna you know oh wiki how you frustrate me so much oh code stone like what are you kidding me? Yeah, throw that in the kiln. Jeez, Louise, people. Anyway, so there you go. A nice uh, tidy explanation for all the unexplained statues. So let me know what you think. Um, was the Chicago World's Fair created making code stone? Um, the Paris World Fair, code stone. I don't know. I mean, I'm wondering about Stonehenge, Code Stone. Who knows? Let me know what you think about Code Stone. Um, yeah, leave your comments below. God bless. Stay warm. Code Stone.